Okay, so I'm out here at Malandro today, uh, dodging the rain, the weather's been very on and off today, uh, to make a little test video for this little 12 volt, 150 watt inverter. That should have been 14.99. I got it for £10. Bit of a bargain, I hope. Um, and this was from Aldi. Not too complicated. Three pin. And goes into the 12 volt cigarette light socket, which I have up here. This is permanently wired in, so I don't actually have to have the ignition on. Test it. But. Let's put it in my. I'll put it in there and then I'll set up the tripod so that it can be seen. Yeah, that won't. I wonder if that works. Yeah, that seems to work. Okay, I wonder what happens when I turn it on. Uh, oh, ready. I've got two things to test. First one is my phone. A USB socket on the front. So if I turn it back around again, USB in, and let's hope this doesn't explode. And it's starting to rain again. That looks promising. It's showing charging. Probably can't see the light. Little green. Green lights show it's fully charged already, but it is charging. That's good. That's a very good start. Okay, that works. So, next thing is my Nikon battery charger. It's the main thing I'm going to be using with it because I'm going to the Nürburgring. So, I'll be using that. Keep an eye out for the orange light. It in, whoops, and there we go. Charging now. This is a where are we? This is a 240 volt 0.23 amps charger, works out about 60 watts. So, this little inverter has no trouble with it at all. Um, anything more than that than these sort of charges, you're going to struggle with. I know my laptop, I've only got an old laptop, and even that won't actually be powered by this thing. Um, but £10 or something that retails for about 30 from Maplin isn't bad at all. Right, while I'm still out here at the Land Rover I'll just mention a few of the other things that uh, are going to happen <coughs> pretty soon. Uh, I've mentioned this before. Use the wind. This bulkhead is pretty bad. So actually today I'm going to be ordering a new footwell panel and a new pillar. Um, that's from YRM Metal Solutions. I was half planning on going to the Billing uh, Land Rover show today to see them, but uh, that didn't work and the weather's been very up and down the last couple of days. So we'll give that a miss. I also have to replace that spring because it's broken, but in my pile of rubbish, I have a brand new one. Clutch return spring. Um, also, finally, that part of the uh, can brake grommet is fitted back on. That one isn't fitted on just yet. Not much else really happened. That's about it. MOT soon. Hopefully, it will pass this time. We'll see.
Hello.